Doom is one of these games that I first experienced in raising the bar in violence and with the FPS genre. The game was released in 1993 by id Software where you control the protagonist Doomarine or Doom Guy who dispatches hordes of enemy demons on Mars and on Earth. This became one of the fastest growing franchises and making its mark in gaming history with its various sequels and movies. Wait, the movie sucked actually, scratch that. Well besides that, Doom went through a change. It raised the bar once more in 2016 with its over the top violence, speed, and its unmerciful horde of demons. Now the Doom guy has ascended to the Doom Slayer in the latest adaption by being favored by the divine and made wrath manifest in order to defeat demons for eternity. I reviewed various Doom figures and statues but this is my latest. Welcome back to Reboot Robot, and I'm the Doom Slayer, and this is my badass statue. So sit back, relax, enjoy, like and subscribe, or else. Other than that, this is a masterpiece of a statue. Check out my live up in box review, or no, more like just a live up in box on the other channel I'm in. I'll put the link in the description, but meanwhile, Let's take a deep dive in this review of this statue. You feel like they put air conditioning in this high tech helmet or something? I can't, I can't breathe. Okay, sorry about that. Like I was saying earlier, um, I made a live open box video. Um, or no, wait, not live. Why did I say open box? Dude, I feel like I'm selling something at Best Buy. No, I did. Um, I did a live unboxing on my other channel with my other collectible family uh nearing nirvana home of the team nerd herd i'll put the link below so you can watch it live watch all the the mess ups i did i knocked over my camera and yeah and i threw my back out it felt like but other than that um i wanted to make this video on the reboot robot channel this is more going to be like a like a review you know more in detail on the parts and stuff of the, of the statue but meanwhile i mean it comes in these two massive boxes this is the base box right here where the base comes in this is huge enough as it is and this is the torso one over here so um let's let's check out the base first so you know what's going on okay so here's the base box statue you can see right here this is the helmet of the doom doom slayer which i have one right here so it's pretty much the exact identical one so that's the helmet of the doom slayer right here and this is a UAC Doom Slayer. Says everything right there. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We have a UAC precautions disclaimer stuff that we never really read. It just says uh, not display on high or unstable surfaces. Seems like mostly common sense, so nothing to be worried about. Uh, let's see. Here is the torso UAC Doom Slayer Doom Eternal, and here's the mark of the Doom Slayer. I like this detail right here. It says um, UAC specimen transport case. Now, alias Hellwalker, which is uh, AKA Doom Slayer, or before that, Doom Marine. But um, origin, hell, species, human, supposedly. Maximum security, level seven. Um, authorized personnel. So, and this is the mark of the Doom Slayer. Now, what I like about this, I said it back in my uh, live unboxing, is that pretty much this is the coffin of where they. Uh, they, well, not the coffin, but the, I think it's the carrying package on when they carried the coffin. Because they found the coffin in hell and supposedly they release him because hell starts breaking loose. And uh, yeah, so there's a cool little detail, you know, a little background on what he is. So not bad. And here on the top, uh, you know what? Maybe I can open it. Up here, right here, I got uh, number 56 out of 100 Deluxe Edition. So I got number 56. And also, I forgot to mention, I have the Deluxe version. Now, the Deluxe version comes with the Plasma Rifle and also the, um, the Crucible Sword. So, and the thing is, uh, the weird thing about this is that they only came out with three editions. First basic edition, I think, was 250. That just comes with the, with the shotgun and i think that's it uh, yeah uh, i think just the shotgun so and that's the basic version and they made 250 of those i believe 
Second is this deluxe version, which comes with the shotgun, plasma rifle, and the cru uh, crucible sword. They only made a hundred of these. This is the lowest edition size, the rarest and the lowest, which is weird because there's an ultimate edition, which comes with all three that I just uh, talked about, shotgun, plasma, crucible. And this ultimate comes out with the BFG and the chainsaw, which to be honest, it's awesome. They made 350 of those, so it's not as rare, but 350 is a low edition size as it is. But um, both were sold out at the moment, so I can only get the deluxe. This is the lowest one, the rarest one. I haven't seen a video in uh, YouTube about the deluxe one. There's a lot of ultimates and a few uh, basic uh, versions, but not the deluxe. So this is the box. Uh, let's check out the other box. All right, here's the actual upper body of the statue. You can see here, Doom Slayer, Doom Eternal, Prime One Studio. And here's the Crucible sword right here. Looking pretty, pretty cool. And then you have right here, him holding the shotgun. That's a nice little product shot, actually. I like this will be a cool poster, to be honest. I don't know if I should cut this out and just post it. And once again, here's a mark of the Doom Slayer. Some disclaimer stuff. And then here he is once again, but this time with the Crucible Sword right there. So next one I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, yeah, I want to just uh, put him up here all together so you guys could see him in all his glory. And here he is. I mean, he is massive before you get this uh third scale statue or any third scale statue by that make sure you have room because <laughs> uh i've noticed that um when I, I watched like over maybe uh like 10 or 15 reviews of this statue when i pre-ordered it because i like watching you know people sometimes have tips or they say don't do this don't do that before you put on the statue so i like looking at other people's reviews and it's never like what you see on YouTube. It's so different in person. This thing looks, it looks like a massive masterpiece. It's just, I mean, it's, how do you say it? It, it, <laughs> it demands like attention. I don't know. It's like, it's it stands out you know i have a lot of statues here i mean a lot of them stand out but this one is just huge it's massive it has colors it's just it's it's an amazing piece and if you're like a doom fan this is like the ultimate piece so i mean i'm loving it you can see how big it is um let's uh let's take a, a closer closer shot at this all right, now starting at the base, I love that orange reddish color. I mean, it practically looks like it glows depending on how, how the light hits it. The lava looks like it's glowing. I love it. I mean, I am probably going to put lights around it. So the glob, the lava, so the lava just kind of, you know, um, emits from the light. So it looks like it's, uh, you know, it's real glowing. So I like that. That bottom part's cool. And also if you look at it down here there's like these uh, little bits of detail like metal skulls right here i think that's i mean i love bits of detail i want you know everything i could have on the statue in one so that's pretty cool and you can see how the lava is dripping from the skulls looks like you're literally in hell you can see bones littered throughout the whole base like a maquette oh, there's a lot of stuff going on in this base which i love because i love it when bases tell stories and this is a story of a grand battle that just happened in hell. You can see here, there's a, I think this is called, the monster's called Pinky, Pinky Demon. You can see he's slaughtered or, you know, the Doom Slayer has his foot on his head. He looks more than, deader than dead. And I love the eyeball. Look at that. It has like a, a blue marble hue to it. Very cool. And also, if you look at the skin of the Pinky, it looks wet. It looks like it looks moist. It looks real, like it has its own residue or moisture. Really cool paint apps on this, as you can see. And I love the fact how, like, um, 
you can see from the lava it's kind of uh, reflecting off the colors of the skulls too so there was a lot of work in this piece you can see here also the orange is reflecting off the lava so great work on uh on on the color scheme and how it's glowing off of everything and you can see here it's all looks all wet it looks gross man it really does but in a cool way you can see the bone, the spine of the bones right here looks very shiny as well. Loving that. Some more skulls right there. And you can see their jaws are reflecting off the lava. Very nice. Very cool. And you can see there the Doom Slayer's boots. Those boots weren't made for walking or maybe for hell walking. But um, I do love the metal. The small metal parts that come in the boot also the little like uh, lug nuts or whatever there are back of his boot i think those help him dash but um all the small details are there straight from the game which is amazing and what i like about these third scale pieces is that they could add these details because they have a bigger canvas if you have a bigger canvas i believe you could add more detail onto whatever it is and also i think it may be easier to screw it up as well but not in this case and you can see up there, his torso armor looks amazing. Look at that. And I love right there his glove. Let me uh, let me go a little higher on this. Let's see here. There we go. You can see there the details on this glove. You can see all the metal lugs and nuts and stuff like that there. Very cool. And also his this slayer or the slayer sword there's a name that retractable blade he has there's a name for that but i'll probably post it right here at the bottom so see that detail as well you got that slayer booty right there in the back he must work out uh he has pouches there for god knows what ammunition grenades who knows i could like the metal spine right there too oh and also i forgot the piece he has a shoulder cannon let me up okay and we're back uh, let me uh, show you that uh, shoulder cannon he has right there I think it's called the utility cannon I believe I like calling it a shoulder cannon though it reminds you of Iron Man in a way but yeah he has a shoulder cannon utility cannon that shoots so what's it called uh, fire ice and uh, grenades I believe lobs grenades so Nice detail there, and also the shotgun that has a grappling hook on it right there. Love the way it shines with that gun metal as well on that shotgun. The super shotgun is one of my favorite weapons throughout the Doom series. Well, I guess it came out in Doom 2 first, not in uh, first Doom, obviously. So very nice, and also you can see there's a face through the through the mask. There's an actual face of the Doom Marine or the Doom Slayer. So I love that detail. Also, you could put batteries in back of his head, but I'm afraid either I got the wrong batteries or my batteries are very cheap. And I've heard issues about um, the light not being too bright for his visor anyways, which is a downer because I would love to have a bright light through his visor so you can see his face. That'd be such a nice detail, but unfortunately not today. Okay, so next we uh, I took off the super shotgun from his hand and we're gonna do the plasma rifle right here. Great detail. Looks like a shiny copper right here, even the copper parts, very nice detail. So see if I'm showing this correctly. Bam, right there. I wanna add it to his arm. Bam, right there. Looks like a very how do you say it? Very heavy weapon. So, I mean, the plasma rifle gives him a little more, how do you say, a little more high tech feel. So, the plasma is cool, but not really my weapon of choice. Oh, also, I have to apologize. I didn't show you the super shotgun up close. You can see here. Looks great, looks awesome. I love uh, the wooden finish here. Also the gun metal, the chrome right here. 
and the grappling hook which you grapple towards enemies and also I think you make them catch on fire too. So I mean this is big. This is like actual shotgun for me. Well, not really. But uh, yeah, you can see the cool designs there. It's very cool. This is, I like this better than the, the plasma rifle, to be honest. I just like the style of it, the feel. So, and this is, this comes with the, the basic version too. So, but I think it's really cool. Classic. All right. Now I think here is the most badass weapon right here. The crucible sword made out of demon energy. Very good. Translucent. I wish this had a light up feature. I might actually install a light up feature to this. I mean, there's a way to do it. I'll try to figure it out. I love the inscriptions. The inscriptions are a little lighter here, and then all of a sudden they kind of fade away. Good detail. Makes it kind of like it's glowing. You can see the actual hilt of the crucible right there because it retracts and it comes back out. You can only use it a various amount of times. There's cat hair. Damn it. And, um,. Yeah, I mean, let's uh, take a closer look at this. Very nicely done. Love the detail. For me, it's like almost like a sword as well. But yeah, anyways, let me attach them. Attach this here. Bam! Oh! Can you move them a bit? Oh, it's touching. Well. Oh. I'll move my computer instead. All right, cool. There we go. Nobody moves the Doom Slayer. They got to move for him. But, uh, okay. Here's with um, the Crucible. Get right there. And also, you got to attach, like, a whole new arm. Because when you look at the shotgun, the plasma rifle, his arm is like this. But with the Crucible, his arm is like this. So you got to take off a whole arm to use this Crucible. And also, I bet to use the BFG and the Chainsaw. But that's the ultimate version. So... Dude, right here. Look at that. I mean, he looks dangerous, doesn't he, with that crucible sword? So, my favorite are the shotgun and the crucible. So, I might display them first with actually the shotgun because I don't think I'll have space just kind of doing them with the crucible it he has um he takes more space because of the how he's pointing the sword out but with the shotgun he's pointing up so you take height but you don't take width so i might have to display him with the shotgun for now until i find a bigger space for him but that crucible looks really cool i mean i really i'm loving this piece it's awesome it's like next level to whatever i have i mean i have those sentinels up there which like it was like my first diorama, huge diorama. I got all these Marvel pieces. But this, I mean, this is a, a gaming piece. I'm a huge fan of Doom. I mean, ever since day one. So this kind of, you know, hits me in a special spot as well. And Doom Eternal is an awesome game. Come on. I mean, it's, it's it has everything, you know. So, so yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. And, um... I mean, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to look at them and answer them. Uh, like, subscribe, and also please check out my live unboxing. Like I said, some stuff happens in that video, which <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. But uh, yeah, I'll put that in a link. I'll put the link in the description or somewhere so you guys can find it easily. And also, yeah, like and subscribe to this channel and like and subscribe to the other channel I'm in with my other family. Um, nearing nirvana home of the team nerd herd so subscribe to them as well and you can see most of my life stuff there meanwhile here on this channel i do a more deep dive review on things so yeah i'll keep it like that uh so far the pros detail 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 it's massive it's huge it's the likeness of the doom slayer it's so awesome the cons is that that stupid helmet light i don't think it works or either I bought the wrong batteries or I bought really cheap batteries because it, it started glowing a little bit, but it doesn't, I hope it, um, it doesn't glow at all. So I don't know if that's like a product failure or it's just, you know, something badly they did. I wonder if I could find a way around that because I would love that visor to glow because you can see his face under there. 
that'd be so cool to see but um other than that i mean this piece was it was worth it i mean yeah <laughs> that's all i could say i'm I'm, I'm, I'm mesmerized by it and um yeah i can't wait to uh to post them where i'm gonna put them and also this statue is a hundred pounds so so wherever you're gonna put them he's gonna actually stay there he's not like a movable gi joe or you know or a hot toy which you could pose him around everywhere in the room or something nah. this thing wherever it goes it pretty much stays unless you want to work out or you know it's gonna break on you or something so yeah that's pretty much it um like i said leave your comments below like subscribe as always and uh yeah thank you so much for watching and tuning in so live long game on and peace